Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare GMS and MailChimp. The first thing I will compare are pricing plans, then I will look on main features, what you can actually do, and then I will go about the advantages and disadvantages I personally see. So let's start. First of all, these tools are completely different. I just can't say that the GMS is an email marketing software. It's like an add-on extension for Gmail, that's how they define it. It, if you're using Gmail a lot, it can really simplify your life. So even when you go here to how to send mass email, so this is like the definition of Gmail before we start with the pricing plans. So we will come here and you got like your list of customer number. First, this is like official Gmail uh, channel. First, last email, first name, last name, email and attachment, right? So what you do is this, you just come here to your you can have it Google Drive on your own file, whatever. This is good if you have class, if you have a lot of colleagues that you want to send emails to, right? Now what you're gonna do, you're just going to import everything. So choose the Google Sheet below, my customer sheet one, connect to spreadsheet, and now to 20 recipients, so to those 20 emails, so you can don't need to actually find them, etc. You just add a subject. You can see right here that it automatically you just add a subject here, then you just hey, and you get the GMS right down below. Look at this. And you just add like personalized first name. So what will happen now is that hey first. So it will automatically add hey Brian, hey Eisen, hey Igel, hey whatever, right? Attachment is in is your monthly invoice. And then you just add Big GMS and while I've got it and it will automatically send everyone and there is an attachment and this is how GMS works. MailChimp is all about uh, email marketing software automations and how we can reach for new with the newsletters and st stuff like that right. So when we go on the pricing plans you get a standard version for 13 or premium which gives you auto follow-ups. In MailChimp, uh, you get free account with the 2000 subscribers, essential standard premium. I recommend going with standard, but it depends how many subscribers you're gonna actually have. And then uh, to talk about like, what are the main features is that you get like inbox spam promotions, scheduling that you can do for emails, behavior based campaigns, reply messages, new messages or replies, Email is builder. Yes, you can do it, but still it's limited to Gmail. And then you can do like automatic follow up emails. So when done, someone doesn't reply to you, just follow up. But I don't know if I would go with the Gmails. If I want to do those things, I would go with the sending blue or mail, right? Because I can use it for automations, but it depends. What do you actually need? If you're using only Gmail, not having a business, not having a site, Gmails is a cool thing to have, right? And then with MailChimp, you can simply create uh, pop-up forms. You can go with the landing pages. You can go with the newsletters, etc. And this is pretty much it. I mean, and then you can do like automations here. So use Gmail for Gmail, use MailChimp for email marketing software. Thank you. Have a great day and goodbye.